Hello everyone, welcome again to our YouTube channel. As you see, the uh, set looks a little bit different. Am I taking your part? Yeah, you are. No, yeah. Um, today we stole <laughs> Jacob's set, uh, but we did it for a specific reason. We have a test bench uh, set up here so that we can show you a feature that should be out now um, when you see this video, and uh, right now we're testing it uh, as of this recording. So pretty cool stuff coming to the X299 Dark and future motherboards. Yes. Uh, so like he said, this is going to be on the X299 Dark in a future in a, well in a BIOS update that should be here. Should be live. Live by the time we upload this video. Uh, so we're going to go over just when you first enter into the BIOS, you're now going to see this new screen here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to have some different options than you're used to seeing with our BIOS. Yeah, exactly. This is when you go into the BIOS, and this is the screen you're expecting to see. Um, don't freak out. You can get to the traditional BIOS through this screen, um, but as you can see, there's four major options around this circle, uh, and those are the options that we're focusing on today, because that's the new stuff that's in this BIOS update. Yes, and so uh, just to show you briefly, to get into the original BIOS, you can just click in the Advanced Configuration Enter Setup button here. And as you can see, this is our traditional type mm -hmm. BIOS with a few updates and changes to the graphical interface. Yeah. But There's some minor changes, but anyone who's used to our BIOS should be used to this. Yep. Uh, and then if you ever want to get back out to that home menu there, we now have an extras tab that will have home. And then uh, some of the new features that we're going to cover today, so the stress test and OC robot. And uh, also on the home page here, uh, you can access the OC robot. Uh, and something called a uh, gamer mode. And so this is a real simple, you hit gamer mode, click yes, uh, and it'll save that new profile with the overclock already applied. Right. This one, it's setting it to 4.1 gigahertz. Um, that's because we have an i9 7980XE uh, yeah. installed in this system, and that's what it believes is a safe overclock that you can run on it with some pretty basic settings. Yeah. Uh, and then for the EVGA OC robot, uh, this is one of the really cool new features mm -hmm. that we have on, on these future boards coming out. Um, this is essentially going to combine um, incremental overclocking right. that's done automatically right. with a stress test. Right. The stress test is going to be a lot like Prime uh, mm -hmm. 95. Mm -hmm. And as you can see right now, it's working. And this is kind of going to go go based on... Um, temperature right. and uh, well, yeah, well I mean basically so uh, Jacob had briefed us a little bit on this um, basically it's going to try to find the highest clock for which that that temperature is still acceptable mm -hmm. and the thing that's sort of going to vary that temperature threshold is going to be the voltage um, so it's going to continuously up that voltage until it finds something that it says oh okay this is fine for this system this will work um, and then that's where it gives you a, a OC that you can uh, apply or you can ignore. You don't have to use this OC software. Yep, and uh, this is super awesome. Uh, as you can see right here, we already got a, quite a significant boost um, over even the yeah. gamer mode. Yeah. So we got an extra uh, 0.4 gigahertz out of this. And um, yeah, it'll on the fly change these uh, until it hits basically a rough temperature tolerance that we'll put in there. You can also retest it. Uh, but if you hit apply, that's it. I mean, yep. you've got an overclock there you go. automatically there, and it'll sort of be based on how well your CPU handles overclocking and temperatures and all the basic things that you're trying to test right. when you do all that normal kind of overclocking and right. resetting everything every time. Right. So. It's not a be-all, end-all. There's probably stuff you still want to do on your system for yeah. testing and whatnot. But uh, compared to the traditional way of putting in a bunch of settings in your BIOS, going to Windows, running it until Windows crashes, which can cause your Windows to get, to get corrupted mm -hmm. if you're doing a lot of overclocking, um, this is all done in the BIOS. Super simple. Um, also want to hit the point here, because I haven't seen this done on other motherboards. Um, if you go, go ahead and go into the advanced configuration mm -hmm. there. Um, when you change the setting for, say, the core, the uh, core multiplier, in this case it's at 40, um, if we were to set the all core to, like, 42, uh, it actually applies that immediately. So you don't have to exit the BIOS and then go run it. Yeah. You can literally go to the extras tab and start the benchmark immediately, and it's already running at 4.2. 
Yes. Same with voltage plug. With, same with voltage settings, and that's really something that uh, I personally have not seen before. Yeah. Uh, which is a really cool setting. I mean, dialing in your settings that quickly is really nice. Yeah. Uh, pretty much anything you do to the CPU applies. It won't apply to memory because the way that you overclock the memory timings, it does require a mm -hmm. reset. It's does actually a physical. Right. Uh, thing so there's no way to do that on the fly right. but um, yeah the CPU it everything is updated on the fly which is yeah super cool uh, inside the actual BIOS menu here the advanced uh, settings you can also like I said do just a stress test so if you wanted to set your your clock speeds manually um, instead of doing the auto overclocking right. kind of feature the, right. the OC robot you can still do the manual um, changes mm -hmm. and stress test it right. within the advanced setting here so that that is also another really great feature and when you stress test it um, again that's a lot like prime 95 uh, so it's gonna hit the CPU real hard and um, you can get an I basically get the uh, overclock in um, without having to do all the manual resetting and stuff that you've right. typically had to do in the past right. for overclocking. Uh, super cool feature. And then also, uh, you can run this uh, pretty much indefinitely. Yeah. Unless the CPU overheats or gets mm -hmm. to a point where you know that's going to cause some type of a crash or failure, mm -hmm. um, you can just run this indefinitely. Yeah. So it, yeah. it's, it's designed so you can really stress the heck out of it right. uh, for a long time. Yeah, there's no uh, real... Uh, pass fail scenario for this. Um, if it fails, it'll probably crash. It'll probably freeze up. Rather, it doesn't crash because it's not Windows. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll run until you want it to. So if you say you want to say uh, you want to do an overnight run mm -hmm. to make sure that it's really stable, go right ahead and do an overnight run. It'll keep running. As long as that's a good overclock, you shouldn't run into any issues. Right. So I, I hope that gives you guys a pretty good idea of what we've added to this latest BIOS release for the X299 Dark. Again, this will be coming to future motherboards uh, in the future, but right now X299 Dark is where you can get these features. Um, I think a lot of the owners of X299 Darks uh, who have those super high-end boards will really appreciate that. Um, but uh, we're, we want to bring you more exciting innovations as we get them uh, across our table here in the near future. Um, so maybe we'll give Jacob a setback. Um, now, but uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Yep. Have a good one. Um, what should I say? <laughs> we just welcome everyone, say hi, oh, yeah. come on in out of the cold, out of the rain, out of the wet. You know, just welcome people. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> just a big hug. And then introduce us, and I'll say that we stole set. Okay. Hello everyone. <laughs> Jacob likes the bloopers, so we gotta keep those. Gotta yeah. keep those. Going. I don't put in any. Uh, if you haven't noticed. Hello everyone. You have no sense of humor. Oh, yeah. Thank you.